Hello everyone, once more I welcome you to me excusing. I hope you guys have been having a blast of the summer even though it's not as we wanted it to be or we expected we should always take advantage of what mother nature has to offer. So I'm not gonna complain about that, rather take you right into what I want to showcase today. Anyway, what I have cooking in my kitchen today is potato omelet. As the start of school approaches, all I can think of is lunch, lunch, lunch. You know, you have to top up that lunch menu in such a way that the kids are not just having flour food items on a daily basis rather they are alternating with other stuff so I have something to show you that might make your life even less stressful let's get to work so I have here some potato on peel I have here sardines but if you don't eat sardines trust me you don't need it I've made it without sardines I just want to have some added protein in it sardines have 21 grams of protein that is that is so much that I, I do believe every child needs I have here some eggs tons of proteins as well vitamin D vitamin B6, B12, vitamin A, iron, calcium, vitamin, no, protein as well. So there's a lot of stuff that you, will make you to realize that this is really a food that entails or is easy, but it does have everything a child needs to bring home those A grades, if you know what I mean. So I have here oil, today I'll be using coconut oil, but you can use any. I just have it at home, so I decided to use it, so I can do away with it. I have here bell peppers, it doesn't matter which color, you can use either. I have here green onion, parsley, onion itself, and hot pepper. And you can also use the black pepper from the bottle if you don't want to use the actual hot pepper so i will put this down the way it's supposed to be before we actually get to the cooking stage but yes this the first step okay here is our second step i have chopped everything into the way i want them to be cooked Here's my onion, square-like shape, my bell peppers, square-like shape, my pepper, I chopped it instead of blending, my green onion and parsley, and yes, my sardines, I open them, and yes, my potato, I peel, washed, and use the coarse side of the grate to grate. So this is how you grate, you grate the longer version, so it comes out like this. You don't do this way, rather this way. And remember, you have to wash everything from the vegetable to the bell peppers. The only thing I don't wash here is onion, because I remove like three layers from the back so I don't know it's not my thing but let me know if you wash your onions so so far I have grated three of my potatoes as you all know sometimes they can be really watery so you can drain out some water by using a strainer and squeezing with your hands so that's what I did to remove some excess water so here we have, 
I'm gonna fry in a little bit of batches, little by little. So I have in here two eggs, um, two pieces of sardines from my container of sardines. Four tablespoons of onion. Two tablespoons of bell pepper. Maybe two tablespoons of some veggie, veggies and a little bit of pepper, hot pepper. Like I said, if you want the black pepper, you can also use the black pepper in the bottle. So I'll mix. I then put in some of my potatoes. So it's based on the quantity as well as the quantity of the eggs. If you want bigger batches, then you have to increase the quantity of your egg. So the quantity of the potatoes now is just like one. So put in your salt and maggi to taste or a spice of your choice. I just put in a pinch of salt. This is my cube of maggi and I just put in a pinch and it's tasty. So I don't need any more. So here is my mixture of my potato omelette. Let's head to the stove and begin frying. So you put your frying pan on the fire. When it's hot and ready, you put in the oil of your choice. This is a tablespoon. I'm using coconut oil today as mentioned before, but you can use any grapeseed, canola whatever it is that you have laying there at home you don't have to run to the store to buy coconut oil no it's just my preference and when it's hot then we will then pour put in our mixture of our omelet into it and cook as you can see our oil is ready you put in your mixture open it up and you allow it to cook medium heat Just like spaghetti omelette, the only difference is this is potato. Potato, it's a vegetable. We all need our kids all need. So you will love this. You can try to turn it without breaking it, but if not, that's okay too. Also use a plate. Turn it onto the plate so it can be foam. Or you use a spoon. Either way, when it goes down into the mouth, it's all broken. So <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Turn side and let it cook again. That's the color you want to have, the brownish color. Here is the findings of our potato omelette. I think it took about five to seven minutes to be properly cooked. Once again, what you need is potatoes, onion, bell peppers, eggs, hot pepper, salt, or maggi based on your preference, sardines, fresh onion, and parsley. You have to peel, wash, wash everything, 
grate the potatoes with a grate using the coarse section and once again the grate can be found in any hardware store for ten dollars or less so follow the instructions as shown in the video and you will have a great meal to go either for breakfast brunch or lunch your kids will be happy they have you as a parent a mom or a dad trust me you just you can add a carton of milk of milk on the side and they will bring home those eggs i'm speaking from experience anyway once again it's been a pleasure cooking for you and bringing you guys into my kitchen i cannot trust me i cannot do this without you and the amount of support that i have received the past couple of months have been alarming there was a day that i had like 50 subscribers and i know it wasn't my words it was it was it were your words based on your experiences so thank you once again i thank you from the bottom of my heart my mia's cuisine is going through an expansion phase i am i'm really grateful for the support it's all because of you guys so i decided to start up something new mia's fit body I always get stopped to ask what I do, the diet I am on to keep my body so fit. But to tell you the truth, I'm no secret. I am an open book. I'm not on any diet. The only diet I have is my five minutes workout on a daily basis. So you can also check out my new channel, Mia's Cuisine, and please subscribe and boost me up just like you boost my Mia's Cuisine. Subscribe to Mia's Fit Body and boost me up like you boost Mia's Cuisine. I will be get very grateful. So I will put in the video at the end of this video and it's also at the end of my other video. You can go to, to my homepage at Mia's Cuisine and you can also transition through there into Mia's fit body and you'll see what I'm doing at home not at the gym no at my home all my workout comes from my home and that's what keeps this body in shape and on the go so once again I salute you guys for all your support all your encouragement and all your love I cannot do any of this without you it's been a pleasure and continue cooking love you all bye